Blue? Yeah, I did. Not another finals. Um, I guess, you know, your entire PFL career, right? You were always so close. Yeah. And now to be back to back, a back to back finalist coming in as a champion. Yeah. How does that feel? Like, do you feel vindicated? I have to be honest, I don't know what vindicated means. <laughs> 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 uh, but I, it, it, feel, it feels great, to be honest. Uh, it feels great because uh, I put in the work. I, I made the sacrifices that I needed to make. Uh, I, I tried everything. I even moved from Sweden here. So um, I believe it tastes even better just because I didn't reach it for the first three times, right? So I had to reinvent myself. I have to be honest, and me and my team were like going back and forth. Okay, we should do this, this because we're there. We like, but it just hasn't been enough. Uh, so now it feels great. It feels amazing, and it feels, to be honest, like a little bit of like finally, uh, finally, finally, you know. And not only that, like you're going out there and finishing people, and yeah. and and with highlight finishes, right? Like there was this always thing where like. You know, you were an exciting kickboxer, but then people were saying like you were point fighting, and yeah. then this season you're like, fuck that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out and knock these guys out. Yeah. Um, what what changed? So I believe, uh, I believe it was a little bit with my mindset because in a couple of fights I got stuck in some in, in positions uh, that um, that I needed to like it was holes in my game that I needed to cover, right? So a lot of last year. Uh, both on the map, but also mentally, was just like covering all of those holes. And uh, when I finally felt like, okay, now I feel comfortable all over, I can now still do what I do and still improve on my wrestling and my grappling and my all around ga game, but I can now put a little bit more focus on the exciting things, which is uh, my bread and butter, the striking. So uh, it's, it's been, it hasn't been one thing, it's been a lot of small things that just come together. Less than a month out, how are you feeling? How's the body? How's the dreaded weight cut? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, it feels amazing. Like, the best thing with PFL is I know when I'm fighting, uh, I, 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 I don't have the opportunity or the time to get out of shape. Uh, so uh, having that now, fourth camp since April, actually since February if you you know uh, so like I'm, I'm, I'm in such a good uh, such a good shape and uh, uh, mentally I'm, I'm, I'm better than I've ever been so it feels I'm, I'm very 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 excited for this one if I mock of it uh, the rematch I guess when training for someone that you've already fought and it was you know, a little bit a while a little while ago like do you feel he's changed like evolved a little bit and, and you've evolved so it's, it's a little bit different or do you feel like he's kind of the same to be honest um i believe that if you look at the pfl roster uh, i believe if you look at the last two years uh, i'm probably one of the most if, if not the most improved fighter uh Magomed is a great fighter he's a former champion uh, he relies a lot on his experience, but uh, when I look at him, I'm not seeing like, oh my God, he added that, oh my, like, no. But he, he's, he's always going to be good and he's always going to show up. He's never going to beat himself, right? So uh, we prepare for, uh, for a lot of different scenarios, uh, but uh, yeah, I feel amazing. Do you think he's going to try and grapple you? Uh, I hope he will because I, let, for me, I want to fight him because... I want to show myself that uh, not only is he not going to be able to out-grapple me, out-wrestle me, I'm going to out-wrestle him. Interesting, interesting. Well, at the end of the day, November 24th, how did you get your hand raised? Oh, the ref is just lifting it. <laughs> <laughs> makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. Um, and then finally, just two questions outside. Uh, since we last talked to you, your teammate Sean Strickland won, won the middleweight championship. Yeah. How cool was that to see? Because I've seen you guys go to war at, at, yeah. at, during sparring. Yeah. For for everyone that's been listening to me, I've I've said it so many times. There was nothing with that performance from Sean that was surprising for me. Uh, so I'm I'm so happy for him, so proud of him, and uh, uh, he's one of the one of my main training partners. He actually was the, my last round now before coming in here. Uh, so we just uh, help each other grow. So I'm looking forward to to keep growing with him. And 
finally Cedric Dumbay is coming over to, to uh, your division next year. I think that's going to be just pure fireworks when you guys two fight. Two, 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 two kickboxers that are now MMA fighters. Like, are you excited, excited to fight him? Listen, there's always nice fighting guys that has has that comes with a name, comes with a with a like a background of uh, of uh, and and a, and, a, and a champion, uh, but my focus is on the fighters. I'm not thinking about Cedric Tube right now. Gotcha. Yeah. I just have one question. You know, there's obviously the excitement of winning the title for the first time and winning the million dollars for the first time, but is yeah. that excitement still there to do it again, or is it just a different kind of excitement? Oh, so for me. Like all the things around, like obviously the big paycheck and all of that, like that, it makes a difference and it's exciting. But to be able to work on something <coughs> and see the improvements and, and see that it works, that's, that's why I started this, right? That's so, for me, uh, that's the thing that in excites me. That, like I said in the previous question with Magomed, if he's gonna wrestle, I wanna be able to see like, okay, how's my wrestling like compared to two years ago? Those things excite me. The all of it, I know that I'm on the highest level in the world right now. I'm, I know I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna put in the work to stay here. So all of the other things around is gonna keep coming. Thank you. Earlier this year, in Vegas, you kind of touched up on how beneficial the move to Las Vegas was for you. Now that you're in the finals once again, I mean, can you kind of add on to it how it's been for you this year? Yeah, like I believe it speaks for itself. Like I, I moved here. The first year I moved here, I won it. And I still live here. I'm in the finals now, uh, and I believe that uh, people are starting to talk to me, talk about me, I should say, uh, in a in a different tone, so to speak. Uh, I'm not a kickboxer uh, that can sometimes uh, yeah, point fight or whatever, right? I'm a complete MMA fighter right now, and I believe that uh, I'm I'm just getting better and better and. Uh, uh, so I'm very happy with uh, with where I'm at right now. And in the, that same Vegas card, you actually had a pretty good ovation when you came out. I mean, are you excited yeah. to hopefully fight here again one day? For sure. Like, that was, that was pro like, I was a little bit surprised. It's hard to surprise me nowadays, to be honest. But I was a little bit surprised, and I got a little bit emotional. And I'm a little bit, like, mad at myself because... I was so, like, it was the first fight of the season. It was the first fight after the championship, right? So it was a lot of emotions, a lot of nerves. So, like, the arena was popping, and my coach was like, sunk it all in, and I was so focused. I didn't dare to, like, take it all in. So I'm, I'm a little bit, like, mad at myself for not doing that, but it was amazing. And uh, this time around, it's in Washington. I mean, you and Olivia actually went out to check it out. I mean, how, what would you make of it? Uh, yes, yeah, so I, to be honest, I've, I fought in Washington, I don't know if it's three, two or three times before. Uh, I love Washington. Um, that was actually where I did my PFL debut in 2018. Uh, so, yeah, we didn't get to go into the arena, but we, we scoped around the, uh, the area, and uh, I like it. I like it. It's a good area to get a nice knockout.